welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see a brand new video. So if you can hear in the background, my dishwasher is going, but I have to cook. So it just has to be what it has to be. And I needed to get some dishes done. So y'all have been there. You totally understand. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. So on this video today we're making bread. This is my all time favorite bread recipe that I have made since I ever tried to make bread. So when my child was about five, about five years ago, um, I quit my job, we moved, and I started homeschooling, and I was trying to do all the things that I couldn't do before. So I was never able to make a lot of homemade stuff because I worked a lot. Like, not even just a regular amount, I kind of worked a lot. So I really wanted to do all of this stuff that I had been itching to do for so long. One of the things was make homemade bread. I found this recipe on Pinterest, and guys, it is amazing. I love it. I will link it down below. I wish it was my own recipe, but it's not. I have made it so many times for so many potlucks, for so many things, and I'm going to make some today because I am taking a French toast casserole to Sunday school tomorrow, and I wanted to make some homemade bread to put in it. If you're looking for an easy bread recipe, if you've never made bread before, this is the one for you. It's super easy. There's not a lot of kneading or anything like that. Um, it's a little bit time consuming because you have to wait for the bread to rise. But other than that, that's about it. So let's make some bread. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I upload a video, come along on this journey while I cook for you every Thursday and let's see what comes of it. One more quick thing, if you hear my dishwasher in the background, I am so sorry, but I know you guys understand because you have been there and I needed to run my dishwasher. I just needed to, so if you hear it in the background, that's what it is. So this first step is an easy step, but it's a really important step. So you want to put two cups of warm water, I always just put it in a measuring cup, make it easier, and then I always put a small packet of active dry yeast in with the warm water along with half a tablespoon of sugar. I always put the whole packet of yeast, it's kind of a small packet, the recipe actually calls for two and a half teaspoons so, but I always just use the whole thing. And then you want to actually just let it yeast up. So you want to keep let it sit there for about 10 minutes and get kind of bubbly. So you really don't have to do anything, but if it doesn't look bubbly or anything like that, then you probably want to redo the step because that is a really important part. If it doesn't, if the yeast doesn't activate, your bread won't work. So while that's going on, I usually combine the rest of the ingredients. It's a fourth cup of melted butter, a tablespoon of salt, a fourth cup of sugar, and a half cup of evaporated milk. So you'll see that I usually just pre-melt my butter and then I go through and I dump everything in together. No big deal. Now I do this in my KitchenAid mixer and that is a lifesaver for me. I'm not exactly sure if you can do it uh, differently if you have a different kind of mixer, but I would just look at the recipe that I linked below and I always put my bread hook on. That is the key to this, is the bread hook basically does all the work for me. So even just this little bit of mixing, um, I just put the bread hook on, let it mix in. It really just wants the sugar to dissolve. And then uh, after about 10 minutes and my yeast looks bubbly and good, I put the yeast in there. So that's what I am doing actually right now. Then I just mix everything to combine for just a minute, nothing crazy and then I'm gonna add my flour. In the recipe, it says to add five to seven cups of flour. Um, I always use just white flour, but I know that's awful for you. I really haven't tried any other flour, but I could imagine that you could use any um, flour you wanted. So I always add in about three cups, and then 
I start mixing it because if you add too much flour in, it's really hard for it to mix. So after about three cups, then I add a cup at a time until I get to about seven cups. I have tried to add less flour thinking that I could like modify the recipe somehow, but it really doesn't work out. I always just end up adding the extra flour. So I just kind of add it a cup at a time until I get to that seventh cup. And what you're really trying to do and what it says in the recipe is that you really want um, the dough to no longer be sticky on the sides. And so you want it to kind of pull away from the sides as you can see. So once it's pulled away from the sides, I usually lift up my mixer and let the dough kind of fall down off of the hook. I don't really try to like force it or do anything like that, but I just kind of let it fall down. And then the next step is super easy, but I really thought it was strange at first. I remember thinking this was really, really weird. Isn't that cool how it all just falls down? <laughs> So next you want to use shortening and I usually just put like a handful in my fingertips and spread it on the dough. I know that sounds really weird but you want to cover the top of the dough and just kind of spread it on top and you want to cover the sides of the bowl because as the bread rises you don't want it to stick to the bowl and you want to get that um, shortening or that fat kind of into your bread and so you just cover it and put it on the very top and when it rises sometimes it rises quite a bit so I put it almost all the way to the top of the bowl so really easy but I remember thinking that that was actually a really weird step but I think it gives good flavor to the bread next thing I just put a cloth over it and leave it alone let it rise and I think it rises for about an hour and a half and as you can tell mine actually didn't rise super great as it should but you know that was okay I let it rise for an hour and a half and what you do then is you just kind of dump it out onto a floured surface and um, sometimes it rises more but of course when I am filming for you guys it doesn't so you guys know how that goes. So once we put it out onto a floured surface, no big deal, you're gonna knead it for a few minutes. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know if this is correct, but the bread always turns out good. I really don't know how to knead. In the directions, it says to knead the dough until it's soft. Um, you can tell that the top of the dough gets a little bit to like a crust to it, almost like dried out. And once you start kneading it, um, it the dough kind of feels really buttery and so you basically just want to knead it a little bit about two to three minutes until the dough feels soft with this particular bread recipe i always felt like the dough felt soft so um that's why it's you know you hardly need to knead you hardly need to knead the dough so then all you do is you cut it in half and you're going to make two loaves i always just knead it around um, in its own separate loaf and I try to make it into like a little bit of a rectangle I didn't do the greatest of job on this uh, But it was getting late and I was getting tired So the directions will say to cut it into two pieces roll them out and To roll it into a rectangle. So once you get some form of a rectangle um, then this part is really important and kind of strange too. But you want to roll it up kind of like a burrito, I guess you could say. Roll it up like a cinnamon roll, but you wanna roll it up really tight, especially at first. Get that really, really tight. And then when you cut into your bread, you will know if you have not rolled it tight enough. But really, just try to roll it really, really tight. Tuck the end pieces under and then place it in a greased uh, loaf pan. So once you do it to both sides, you're gonna put your towel over again and just let it rise. I told you this is so easy. And so then you just let it rise again until it looks like a loaf of bread. That's legit what it says in the directions. Like let it rise until it looks like a loaf of bread that you wanna put in the oven. So till it looks like a normal loaf of bread size, that's um, how long you let it rise. Maybe like an hour, nothing crazy. Put it in the oven 
375 for 25 minutes and look at they rise even more and look amazing like they're golden brown they're so oh my gosh this is like the easiest bread it always turns out good and it looks amazing I mean the color on that it's just amazing doesn't this bread look wonderful I always love it when it comes out make sure house smell amazing and even though it has a little bit of flour on top this is my secret to any type of bread biscuits um, anything like that the secret that I do this very country woman told me a long time ago is when it comes out of the oven you just put some butter on it and so that's what I always do to any of my biscuits or bread as soon as they come out of the oven I just rub some butter on there so as you can see I'm trying to hold the camera and put it on there and literally the bread will just soak up this butter and almost like dry into it and it makes your bread so moist so nice and oh my gosh it's wonderful this bread took a little bit more time than I was anticipating it's like 1 30 in the morning it would not yeast um, in the first step that you have to do I did a couple different yeasts because it wasn't working and the tip I can give you for that is when you put the yeast in the warm water with the sugar um, you just want to leave it until it like bubbles and looks good so mine was not working very well but if you mess up that step you mess up the bread so that's why it took me so long but I got an amazing result I love this bread it smells amazing everybody always loves it and thinks that I did so much work when really um, I barely even had to knead it and yeah mostly all the work the bread did itself it just rose and rose and rose hope you guys enjoyed this new recipe video and stay tuned uh, for more good recipes every Thursday. Bye for now.